Girls art class. We are going to go over how to download a font in Adobe Illustrator or AI. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to minimize this and go to Google and I'm going to type in free fonts. <clears throat> this first one that pops up is 1001 free fonts. I've used this one lots of times for my students. Um, I've never had any issues and it does ask you to donate if you would like to donate to the designer, which is nice. You of course don't have to. So when you first open it, you have up at the top where you can search for fonts. You can also search categories and down here you have all of these categories. So like here it does have horror but you could also even type in Halloween and you will get <clears throat> fonts that are probably similar to horror, but more specific to Halloween. <clears throat> so you can type in anything that you want or just search these here. I'm going to go to rounded and I'm going to pick one of these guys for my headers and the resume project. I think I'm gonna do this one here. So I'm gonna click download and you see that it's downloading here. <clears throat> I'm going to click this little arrow and click show in folder. Now it downloads as a zip folder so I'm going to double click it and what they usually include in these folders are the licenses for the text and like some promotional posters. So this one right here, it says .ttf. Most of them are TTF, like that's the file type. And it'll say over here that it is the font file. I'm going to double click that. <clears throat> and it's going to bring up everything that I'm about to download in this file. <clears throat> so it has the the alphabet in lowercase, which some of these are kind of weird. I don't know that I'd actually end up using it, but the uppercase, eh, it still looks kind of weird. Um, but it also has numbers and all the punctuation. So you want to double check that because not all of them have uppercase and lowercase, and not all of them have numbers and or punctuation. So you want to go ahead and check that. I'm going to download it just for this demonstration. I'm probably not going to use this one. But I'm going to go ahead and click install. It says that it is installing and it should be installed now. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of there. X out of that. I'm going to minimize this so I can go back to it. Oh, you need to remember the file name. So if you need to write it down, make sure that you remember that file name so that you can find it. I'm gonna go back to Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to select, oh, this is one big, okay. I'm gonna to go to the type tool and I'm going to highlight this text here. And then I'm gonna come over here under properties because I have this type selected the properties that are showing up are for the text that I have selected. So I'm going to go under character and I'm going to search for that font. I already forgot what it's called. It starts with an O. So I'm going to scroll down to the O's. <clears throat> it's this one right here. Also, I could, I just minimized my screen so I can go back to it. <laughs> I have to kind of scroll all the way down. Okay, so it is... Pass it up. Right here. So, yeah. It's pretty... Oh, why did it go back? Did I not... Okay, I have it selected. Let me do it one more time, see what's up. Oh, uh, something weird is happening.
Oh, it's it's filtering. I must have clicked on filtering similar to that. So I'm gonna go. <clears throat> oh, you can't see my screen. Let me minimize this so you can see what is happening. So when I click on this, it is I apparently clicked on filter similar to this Optian font that we're trying to find. So there is a button over here that says go back. This is a new feature that they added in Adobe so that you could find fonts easier. So I'm going to go back and now it'll allow me to search for that text. Right here. So I'm going to click that. There we go. Now our font is that text. So yeah, if you're looking for something um, similar to something, there's filters in here to allow you to find it. You can also click find more. You can find fonts in Adobe. Um, also, what I've been pointing out to people is that if you see a number in a font, like this one says 15, that means that when you click on it, you've got 15 different options for how to modify that specific font. Some of them, like the one that I downloaded, most of the time when you download it, it's only gonna have the one, but this one has 91. Most of them only have like three or four, but that is crazy. It has 91 different variations of that font. Okay, well, I'm gonna stick with this one. If you want to change the color, you're gonna highlight it, double click on the fill tool, change it to any color you'd like. And then over here, you can change the tints and shades of that color. I'm gonna do a nice blue. <clears throat> and then you've changed the color. If I wanted to put a box behind it, I'm going to click on the rectangle tool and do my box. I want my box to be a different color. So while my box is selected, my square is selected, I'm going to click on, let's do a complementary color scheme. Do a nice light, orange. <clears throat> and then, of course, I want to be able to see my text. So I'm going to come over here to layers. It looks like two pieces of paper layered on top of each other. And when I hover over it, it says layers. So I'm going to click that. And the reason I can't see my text is because this layer, oh, and if you can't see this, if this is what it looks like, it's because everything you're doing is on one layer. You have to click this little arrow. And this rectangle is literally sitting on top of my type. So I need to grab the rectangle, click, hold it down, and drag it down to the bottom. And now my font is on top of my rectangle. <clears throat> So without getting too much into layers, that's pretty basic. Um, I know you guys are gonna run into that on your first project, so that's why I'm showing you now. <clears throat> but that's how you download a font to Adobe Illustrator. You don't really have to do much after you have downloaded it from Google and you've installed it. Once you install it to your computer, it automatically pops up in Adobe. So it's pretty easy. Um, and for this project that we're doing, you need to be able to use the type tool, at least one shape, and a neutral color. At least one neutral color. All right, I'll see you guys later.